Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband with the Between Empires mod. Since last time around, not a lot has happened, but that is to be expected since this is World War One. I. I think we're going to do a change though. Gas warfare has been uh, invented, so... or uh, we have been able to research it. So that's why we now have helmets. It's also turned to 1915. So I think we're going to go ahead and change it, in which p the pace. Because currently it takes 15 days for a year. And so this is video 3 and we're already a year into the war. With that kind of speed, I mean... I'll get nowhere before the war is over, so I think we're gonna go ahead and change it. Now, I really would like... The thing is, if you look at this, like, the, the changes are very small, or short, and then they become really large, like this one right here. I would probably want something in between extremely slow and minimum. Like, you could have... like, th this could still be minimum. But I probably would like, like, one year is 60 days, or maybe 90 days, something like that. For now, because I just, I, I really don't want to be, you know, oh, time to siege Paris, and it's 1925 or something like that. So I think we're going to stay in um, uh, 1915 for quite a while. So far, I have un been unable to acquire anyone with any skill in engineering. However, we have been... We've got a new guy, Clemens Wilfred. Currently, he's got no particular talents, so he could, could be, potentially, put to use as a engineer. But I would rather just find whoever the engineer is and work on him rather than trying to cr recreate this guy. Of course, we don't know where the guy is. He could be r literally anywhere on the map. And as there's quite the few places, and a lot of them quite hostile as well, God knows where he is. So with 1915, I'm, I'm sure some other nations have joined by this time. I think... I think the Romanians... Or was it the Bulgarians joining on our side? There's been some movements down here, but the thing is, I've been preoccupied just moving back and forth here, dealing with the Belgians, trying to gain some kind of, you know... What I think I need to do is I, need, I probably need to capture these Belgian lords, put them in captivity, and then be able to siege... Start sieging Liege and slowly wor whittle down the troops inside. So at this point, I have 135 troops, quite good troops as well, and there's about 90 men. Let's see. Ottoman Empire defeated but managed to escape. Yes, the Ottomans joined. How could I have forgotten that? So the Ottomans have joined the war on our side. As well as, I'm sure, some other... Sendar, Franz Joseph, Austria, Hungary. Um, right. Don't really care about that. So there's 92. I'm pretty sure I could be able... To start actually doing some damage here. Well, the problem is, of course, that it just takes so much time. Oh, the year is 1916. It's good, then, that I changed the way in which the times prog or the time progressed in this because we're two years into the war and so far nothing's happened. What's this? I've been seeing a lot of this. Um, unrest for workers. But it's all been... Someone's started shooting somewhere. You know what? Looks like there's no Belgians coming to the rescue of Liège. We might actually be able to siege it this time. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, you are laying siege. The work should be finished in 37 hours. So, 
we're about halfway there. Unfortunately, we're going to have to abandon it because we've got King Leopold's 161 troops coming at us with an additional 72 of Groot. That bastard. I'm sure I'm faster than the Belgian king. Oh yeah, the Italians must have joined as well. So I'm slightly faster. Also, someone pointed out, if you put horses in your inventory, it makes you faster as well. Oh, uh, I wasn't supposed to actually stop here. We'll continue then. Should I dare take them on? I would want to take them on on flat ground then. Just to see if I could capture the bastards. They would outnumber me quite a lot. But so far, I've been doing pretty well by digging in. You know what? Let's do it. Let's just go head on. Halt. You don't look much like a king, do you? Um... Is there any order change I need to do? No. So they've got a hundred men more than I do. I think we've, we've done before. Machine guns to the center. Heavy howitzers to the back. Let's see. Cavalry. Head over there. Infantry. I think we'll do layered infantry as we've done in the past. Yes, now I forget what I... Here we go. Formation, two lines. Or maybe I should do a single line. Dense one row line is what you can do. Form one row line. At four extended one row line, maybe. Let's just do one row line for now. Looks good. Well, look at that. He's lying on the ground. Is that my new rec... Yes! It is the guy I newly recruited. Also, yes, I have been... Uh, I have set it up, so now I've got, got it set up for iron sights. So it's just like any FPS game out there. It's marvelous, isn't it? What you can achieve in Mountain Blade. I'm going to advance slightly. Okay, first really should dig in. And second should dig in. I think we might have third. Actually extend the line all the way out here. With fourth extending their line over on this side. So now we have a huge trench line extending all across here with my cavalry firmly placed somewhere. Wait, where did you guys go? I think they're gone. I think they died somehow. Dig in. And then, oh, I can see the Belgian lines advancing against us. I don't know how much this one will actually do. Should turn slightly like that, I think. Dig in. Look at the Belgian infantry advancing over here. There's so many of them. I wonder, I wonder... Heavy howitzers. Can I order gas to be fired upon them? Cannot launch gas attack. Okay, so I have already told them to launch again. Oh, here we go. Gas attack. How do I... Wait. I think they're actually putting on gas masks. But I can't see. Because I need to... Which button is it to get closer. Oh, what did I do now? Oh, I just moved into...
What I want to do is I want to get closer so I can see them walking around in the gas. Page down. Which button is it to... The gas attacks seem to have worked quite well. I think they do have gas masks on. But I can't for the life of me remember which button it is. Reduce the height. No, I don't want to retreat. I'm supposed to be able to... No? I'm supposed to be able to... You know, be able to go down closer to the view. I want to see them go through my gas, don't I? It kind of looked like they were fiddling with their faces. So I'm sure... They had gas masks on, some of them. Let's take a look at the statistics here. So, I've had my cavalry routed. And that's about it. While the enemy has had an astonishing 169 of their troops dead. With an increasing rate of kills. Why was I worried about the bloody Belgians when their troops are dying by the hundreds? And I have loose I've lost no one. Machine gunners seem to run out of ammo pretty quickly. What do you say, guys? Another charge of gas? And as the gas goes in, I'll order my men to advance. Thing is, I kind of want to fire the gas so that the gas attack ends up over at the enemy's artillery. Currently they have 61 men left. You know what? It might be dangerous to fire gas if I want to advance. Which I do want. First company will move forward. Second. Everyone move out of your trenches. We are advancing. Over the top, lads. Malingerers will be shot. Forward. Traversing the open ground towards the Belgian lines. Artillery is landing all around us. A bit inhumane, maybe, to use gas on the Belgians. But these waffle people... Are they even people? Let's see. If we get close to them... Oh, yeah. Well, oh, they don't have proper masks yet. You can see some of them have handkerchiefs across their face. As they've been trying to save themselves. But instead just coughing up blood. War certainly is hell. Not sure if this is a good way to... Uh, it might be better just to use the normal old style. But it definitely looks pretty cool. I don't know if I'm hitting anyone. Just the artillery going crazy on us as we're closing in there. Forward soldier. Oh, they're tired. My troops are tired now. Let's see. Yeah, they're all tired. Maybe I should have... Given that it was such an... Uh, 
long distance. I should have ordered them to uh, advance by the walk instead. Let's have uh, the heavy howitzers hold their fire and then let my troops get some points shooting down these troops here. How does it work with a pistol? Oh, that's not iron sight, but um, certainly different. Oh, it looks like their artillery crews are actually leaving this time. They're not allowing me to slaughter them. Well, anyway, it's not all of them. Here's the result of the battle. Every single one of my cavalry unit was killed immediately. I, I need to go back and check the recording after this. Why were they... All of them were slaughtered. None of them ended up as wounded or anything. They all completely slaughtered. Also, notice how many of the enemy was killed compared to wounded. Previous battles, I'm pretty sure we had have more wounded. Could it be the gas? That needs so bloody deadly? Managed to escape. Um, prisoner. Well, there's no point, really. Really, what I should... Congratulations on your victory. You know what? I'll take you, prisoner, just because. So, he's not happy about that. And the Kingdom of Belgium is not happy about that. But then again, he puts, you know, another trooper of theirs out of action. Interesting how it said they all died. I think at this point, it might well be that... Let's see, Clemens. I could put him towards... I could put points towards... Engineering. I'm pretty sure I could even... He's pretty intelligent. I could even put two points in engineering. But it seems... Could be a waste if there's an actual engineer out there. But when am I going to find him? Two points in engineering would allow me to actually start maybe improving some of the villages. And also... Increase the time in which I'm able to... He is... I guess rifle is what he's using. Very good. Uh, I think we're going to replace the cavalry. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I should switch them out for dragoons. Let's see, where did my dragoons go? There. So dragoons could ride up this mount. Could be a tactic. Instead of having straight-on charge alarms, as might not be super useful anymore. With this, though, with this, just seeing how effective my line is against the enemy, there's uh, no point in giving up the siege, but when their relief force comes to attack me, I'll just gas them. I'll just gas the bastards. Very perfect ominous music when a German is talking about gassing his enemy. We're back at Liege. I've changed it up, so now I've got extra infantry. We can see that 14 recruits, 5 dragoons. Let's go ahead and take this damned city. Besiege. Prepare to attack the town. <laughs> I'd got it down by what? How, how much was it before? 74 hours? It cut it down by like 3 hours or something. Completely pointless, almost. I guess it, the real change is when, you know, you get up to the, like, 8 in engineering and stuff like that. Would you look at that? The Belgians do send troops to rescue the town. Let's go ahead and fight them, shall we? 130 men? I'm sure I can all do with that. The thing, though, I should say here is that I did go ahead and reduce the amount of troops that can be on the field at the same time just because sieges have a tendency to crash, so we're not going to look at the full 135 versus 130. So we'll see how many men will take part in this battle, but I think I set the, the limit to 150 per side.
So we won't have the full numbers. Let's go ahead and remember to form them into single lines. Oh, look at that. This might actually be more fun because uh, there's less cannons. I'm sure the cavalry is still going to go ahead and attack me. Their cannons have opened fire. Let's go ahead and... It becomes a little bit easier to move around, doesn't it? Did I get no my machine gunners? No. Hmm. There comes the cavalry. I will go ahead and enable and tell them to fire the uh, gas once the cavalry is done with. Oh, I actually got one. Oh, that, I think that one... It, yeah, he had a machine gun on it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he did. Would you look at that? Okay, don't advance. Oh, wrong button. I need to change so I don't have to spin around every time with E. Is the enemy advancing? Who knows? They have made light. Yeah, they looks like they're advancing. I will advance as well. But as I advance, I'll tell my artillery to shell the enemy with gas. Let's go ahead. Oh, I can see gas landing. So we have a little bit of gas over here. Oh, it sounds like they're actually reacting to it. Yeah, look at that. And they're coughing. Interesting. So the enemy is going to come over the ridge. As they come over the ridge, my men will be prepared by digging in to the lights to move a little bit to the side before digging in. Having uh, been the first nation, or at least against the Belgians, to get gas is uh, quite, quite the advantage. Looks like the Belgians are retreating. I kind of want to use my machine gun. Against the Belgian commander, no, no less. Take that. I don't know if I was the one who sh shot him. A drive-by! Drive-by! No one cares that the Emperor of Germany is doing a drive-by. Hitting absolutely no one. I'll have to dismount and shoot them. Oh! Here goes my horse. This thing is awful. Get back here. You know what? The Belgians are done for, aren't they? I should probably just order an advance. Tell my men to uh, charge the enemy. We're spread out in a way that we should be able to hit them from all sides at the same time. I'll go ahead and do it. Everyone forward. Over the top. Join me in this attack. Look at that guy, he's got a shovel ready to cleave the heads of the Belgians. Belgians are lying down in the grass.
I'm not hitting anything. Need more controlled fire. Oh, here we go. I'm out of shot. Forward! Keep advancing on them. That's way too far. Oh, we might have melee going on here. Nice. Keep stabbing them. Here comes another gang of Belgians. Forward! Keep on the attack! We've got them! Forward! We've got them now! Break their spirits! Don't stand in my way! And we are victorious. Let's not linger. I've got a town to uh, take. We lost an astounding three men and two wounded, while the enemy lost 60. Seven wounded and three routed. Wonderful. Oh, they want, to, they want another go at that. Fine, by me. Right. There's no point in lingering. We do get some machine guns this time around. And it does sound almost like I had some. Oh, we only got one cannon this time around. Same as before. Oh, this time around it's more cavalry than usual. Go ahead, keep up the fire. We're not slaughtering the cavalry as well as one would have thought. thing is they are retreating. They didn't make it to the line. I don't know if it might might be easy not to use the iron sight. Oh. Keep up the advance. We'll end this battle in no time and we can get back to the siege. Oh, they've dug in, they've dug in, the bastards. Let's not advance too much, the cavalry's back. Once the cavalry's gone, we'll... We'll make short work of those, um... Looks like they've got quite a few artillery pieces. Go ahead and gas them. While they're in their uh, dug in positions. Let's go get our machine guns up here as well. I want to see some gas. It's going to be horrible though once the enemy gets a hold of that. I'm sure that's not going to make wonders for my troops. I wish there were binoculars. That's one thing that I've kind of been thinking about that's kind of missing. To be able to see, as a commander, be able to see, okay, so there's where that is and so on. Look at that. The gas. Trenches on the right. is going to be completely cleared by the fact that we gassed it. But they have layered their defense. Oh, there was a tiny... was a tiny trench with dismounted cavalry. And that's what we wasted our gas on. Oh, 
Oh, they have the, mach the bloody machine guns in there. Luckily for me, it seems that the machine guns are, in fact, just firing straight into the ground. I'll move my machine guns up to this point. You can hold there. These will move then. We'll have a movement towards the right. Can I gas again? 86 seconds. Yes, keep it up, keep it up. Keep bombarding them. Currently, my machine guns are targeting this guy. But it's not going too well. They still got one machine gun. And it seems like he's actually able to fire on 1st Regiment. However, 1st Regiment isn't really losing a number of troops, are they? Behind the mount, anyways. 47 seconds. I want to gas once more. And then I want to try and advance. We should continue, actually, to do advanced movements towards the right. And then 1st Regiment can stay here. 1st Regiment has actually suffered quite a bit of casualties now. Let's see, gas. 16 seconds. 14. Looks like we kind of cleared the enemy without gas. Three seconds. I'm sure my men will put on proper masks. There we go, gas, at gas attack is in. There's still 51 Belgians left, but I'm sure most of that is artillery. All regiments forward. Right, the machine gun should be gassed to death before we get there. Forward, soldiers! What happens if I move into the gas? Oh, I put on a mask! How about that? Oh, we've got one poor Belgian. Just what I needed. Oh, look at that. The inside view. Maybe I should draw my pistol instead. I can't actually see. Get him! A <laughs> flag and a shovel. Get him! Oh, he got him with a flag. You guys are still firing at us? Is he trying to turn the artillery against me? Was the question. We've got a little bit of fighting over here. This trench needs to be cleared. I'm coming in with my gas mask on. Chop! Goes his head. Chop, chop! Oh, he survived! There we go. Nice. Trench is cleared. Victory's been had. Points have been gained by my ancillaries. And we have victory. <laughs> Wonderful. Victory is ours. Hooray! 
Here's the result of the battle. We were victorious and were able... We lost 13 men. 7 wounded. While the enemy lost 53 men. 7 wounded. So 60 in total, 20 for me. And we took another one. The general is a prisoner. Wonderful. And... Do I have enough food? I should test out the machine guns for real some t somewhere sometime. See how good they actually are. The French one wasn't too good, was it? Um, I'm thinking we're gonna end it here because I think I'm out about 30 minutes. And it's a good time to save anyways after all these battles. So with that said, I'll say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!